Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Um, if you see I'm all, you know, the same outfit because I'm doing like the the book haul video and then the wrap up video with the TBR video all together tonight. So I, you know, cause I work tomorrow and then I work Wednesday and I work Thursday. So I want to see if I could film all these videos today and then post them all while editing them, each one. But this is my September wrap up and I'm so happy to show you guys my video. I mean my video, my my books. That's what you guys came for, my books. Um and yeah, let's get started. I forgot which one I read first, so I'll just, you know, go through them all. The first book I read was The Mister The Mystery of the Griefer's Mark. This is the second book to the Minecraft um Gamers Adventure series. Um I think this is a middle grade, and then, um, yeah, it's a middle grade. They're all short books. They're like 100 pages or more, but yeah, I, I read the first book um, last like in the last two months, and I enjoyed it, um, so I picked up the second book, which is The Mystery of the Griefer's Mark. Oh, by the way, the author's name is Winter Morgan, and the third one is The Enderman Invasion, the fourth one is Treasure Hunters in Trouble. The fifth one is called The Skeleton Strike Back. And the sixth one is called The Clash of Creepers. Now, I enjoyed the series. They're like, what, like, how are they called? What are they called? They're like those books where you, like, just enjoy, like, you know, you could just eat up. They're like my, um, my guilty pleasure. Now, I do love Minecraft. I'm not going to lie. Um, I love Minecraft. Minecraft is my favorite um, game, and I I picked this uh, I picked up this series to see like you know what's it about. I know it's in Minecraft, but I want to know like what the story's about. Now, the only issue I had with this series is that there wasn't a um, character development with none of the characters. There was it was just kept going on. But overall, I love the series because Mor uh, Winter Morgan, she comes out with so many Minecraft series. She's, right now, she has like four out in total, including this one. And I ha I bought her other series, which is like Minecraft Rainbow Griefers or something. So I bought that. And hopefully I get to read it because um, even though it's like for children audience, I still enjoyed it because it's like Minecraft and I love Minecraft. It's just that the character development wasn't there. But overall, I loved the series. It, it was nice. I liked the ending of the book. It wasn't that, that big of an ending, but I did like the ending. Hopefully all these characters come back in every other Minecraft book series she writes because, you know, they're, they're cool characters. The next book I read was Beauty and the Beast. Bell's Library, and these are a bunch of, like, quotes from fam uh, famous novels, and then Belle, like, she makes it up into her own words, so, and I like it because, um, like I said, I love poetry and I love memoir, I mean, not memoirs, um, memos, memos, they're called, muses, inspirational musing, uh, literary cro quotes, uh, why am I, like, tongue twisted, um, and I liked it. And the cute thing about it is that there was an there was always an illustration, and I liked it because it, it got me through the whole book. And then at the end of the book, it always gave you like like a recommendation towards the book. Like for instance, um, the book of a thousand nights. It gives you like a synopsis of it, which is cute. I recommend this book to like a young audience as well to, to let their minds grow and see what books they might want in the future and I also recommend it to everyone because this is a quick book and you can also like you know read it and love it because I like it. it it held something dear to my heart because I read a lot of these classics back then and it just you know gave me nostalgia so Bell's Library the next book I read was The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace and this book oh my god I love this book so much it is beautiful it's like poetry and the back says the story of a princess turned damsel turned queen this book I relate to this book not with like all of the oh by the way trigger warning there's a lot of um death like all of these things um like mostly death and 
Now, they, um, this book is good because there's some parts that I felt were so good and so beautiful that I related to this book so much, but not in those trigger warning parts. It's just, and, and the way she writes these poems is like, she's telling a fairy tale, like the, the dragon, the witch, the, 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 like, it's just so beautiful. And you should all pick this book up. I recommend it. I really highly recommend this book because... I loved it so much and there's another book coming out next year which is like the witch burns her no the witch doesn't burn in this one by the same author and I want to read it I love it so much so you should all read it too now the eighth book I read cuz you know the five books I read were from that Minecraft series then I read the sixth book which was um the bells library and then the seventh book was the um, Princess saves herself in this one. Now, the I felt bad because I had 11 books as my TBR for September. Like, I had, like, four big books, but I only got to reading one. Now, I know that there's a vlog out for it already, and it is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. Oh, my God, guys. This is my favorite book of September. I am so... I'm so picking up the third one, hopefully, this month. Um... October because this book is so good let now like I'm not gonna go into like what the second book's about but the first book is about this girl who op like her mind finally opens to the real world which is like it's the shadow hunter world which is like these group of people who are half angel half human and they have you know and it, it's not just about the shadow hunters it's about vampires demons warlocks fairies werewolf all of these things and the stories that are told are real so this girl she her name is clary her best friend simon she they meet jace alec isabel all these shadow hunters and it's such a good series i highly highly recommend for you guys to pick up the mortal instruments now i know all of you have read the mortal instruments and i'm just getting to it my friend, my friend recommended me this book and she's already, I'm proud of her because she's already in City of Heavenly Fire and she finished Clockwork Princess last week. So hopefully I catch up to her because hopefully we buddy read Lady Midnight next year, hopefully if I actually get through the whole series, but I love this series. I, I'm like mouth open right now because like the second book was better. Like the first book was okay. The second one is better. Now I can't wait to pick up the third one because in this book we get like, oh my god, I can't say. But there's LGBT romance. There is badass like chapters where it's like, oh my god, action packed. Then there's like friendship, romance. There's like hate and love at the same time. That's just, damn, you should pick this book up. It's life. But yeah. Now, I read only eight books right here. These are the eight books I read in September. Hopefully, I do better in October. I mean, I did do good. Eight books, and I chose 11. So, how much is that? Eight. That's... I would have, you know... I read eight books, so... 19, 11. So, I would have finished... I read eight out of 11 books. So, I, w I'm, I'm, I missed out on three more, but I'm happy I got through eight. I'm happy. Even though some were short, I got through at least City of Ashes. But, yeah. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to come out with my October TBR. Hopefully, you guys, you know, like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, like the video. Um, subscribe. And I'll see you guys with a new video. Bye.